Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a Just Because reading. I hope that uh, your day has been made uh, peaceful um, and you've made the best of it to the best of your ability. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thank you, Sweet Divine, for clear to find messages. I bind and block and rebuke all negative forces right here, right now. And I command for the truth to come to the surface, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. What do we need to know? Show me past, present, and future. The most important thing about the past that's caused the future to be manifesting before us. And give me energies of the future and anything that we need to know on how to correct something that could possibly be shown to us in the future given the consequence of a choice. Okay, so past had to do with the money or a contract or physical situation or health or it was right out of heaven though. It you know, this is the lower version of the sun. It's a yes. So, you know, if you did have any other questions, there are other yeses in this deck. We're already getting one yes, okay? Um, but in the past, there was something to do with physical stuff. Obviously, people think about money. <laughs> I tried to do a couple of videos today, and I see a lot of money that came out. Yeah, work. <laughs> in the past, work, what was worked on, what the energy behind what was worked on that was profitable. I mean, we went from one pentacle that went straight to eight. And people are looking back at that physical thing, policies, contracts, projects, whatever that was. It was very physical. So we get earth energy really huge out here. People. Some people are also getting creative, and that's positive. It's positive. The divine give you a way to work on something. It's time to apparently try to do something different in some way, shape, or form. I mean, if the divine tells us he'll make a way where there seems to be no way, then whatever's going on in the land, and we don't know what it looks like entirely, what it's going to look like, and when it's going to be really opened up again, then... And there's a lot of physical stuff being affected by it. Because the past tells the future. The past also tells the now. And people are obviously looking back to the past because I feel it. <laughs> also, there's nine pentacles there. And uh, somebody was completely whole and worked on being whole. What uh, What's in the future right now from this? What, what was the job? What was the work what was the profit that is being um, manifested right now from the seed that went in the ground and made eight pentacles from it from the past divine what do you want to show from it one time people were willing to put the work in on family and children and physical things somebody's really focused there see nothing wants to come out show me right now energy please divine As if we didn't really already know. Uh, the pentacle. <laughs> of course, I've seen a lot of this. Like I said, I, I've tried to do a couple videos today. And um, in one of those videos, there was just all kinds of pentacles. Okay. Two want to come out here to clarify this. And we have other people's money, property, secret sexual things. People in their mind about the past. Let's go back to the past. The mind just going off about jail, okay? That's also under investigative stuff about being uh, reliable somewhere with something, with a contract, um, like it was in the past. What's the, what's it going to look like? People really in their head about that pentacle. It's emotional because, I mean, the judgment energy is a change of position. People in their head about a change of position. People in their head about being reliable or they weren't or lying about being reliable and they're not or something like that. If something's coming to the surface. It's being blasted. This is the heavens doing it in the right now. So whatever was worked on here with the energy of that for you, positive or negative, some of you are only just in your own head. I will say we have the eighth house here. 
with the Eight of Swords, and that's prejudice stuff. It's 88, it's a tower energy. Knowing something here, coming right up, and really being in the head about it. Time to be at peace. Time to be reborn again and uh, be refreshed and renewed. And we do that by truth. Something's very karmic taking place in a very physical way, in a very mental way, in a very emotional way. It's creating this slow work situation. Okay? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving pentacle. That's on everybody's mind. The pentacle. Money, property, the secrets about things. How, how <laughs> some people are, are trying to figure they're really in their head how to how to get it uh, secretly in a deceptive way. <laughs> I'm just saying because that goes after really dark stuff in the negative, and obviously somebody's in their head. This isn't faith for upright things. People are in their head about upright things that they know that they've done in secret. And the pentacles is going really slow right now. And it's really got people up in their head. And things are coming back around for them to take a look at and reevaluate in the right now moment. Because of things that were worked on. Because this is a judgment being shown. And so we're seeing somebody being judged for things that were worked on. And now something's really excruciating. Going slow to arrive. There's a change of position here, obviously. Because the divine said it was judgment time. What some of the future divine, whatever you want to bring out for who you know, every person that clicked upon this video, what we need to know, or what we need to look at, and things could turn out a certain way if we, you know, choose this. That decisions if you choose wrong, you'll be in your head, if you choose right, you'll be reliable and be able to, you know, it maybe it's going slow, but still move it. It's the most profitable night, it's about having faith, it's about coming alive. Divine, what is the future? I'm telling you, nothing's wanting to jump out or anything. Okay, so we get the pentacle on every position in the home. And look, there's a promise there. There's the rainbow. There is family. There's children laughing and dancing and a brand new opportunity. And uh, something is emotional. We have messages, though, that are profitable. We have a knight and a page showing up in this reading. This would be real humbly energy. Um, really starting over at a page. Because right now, people are still got a little bit. Depending on what this death energy and transformative energy is to bring something to the surface going slow. It's, it is showing the Ten of Cups overwhelming happiness. But it's with the page. It's with the page. It's about, because it's about a choice. It's about choices. Depending on... I mean, the Ten of Cups is still going to be there. Something's going to be very emotional here. I'm going to... Actually... Yeah. There's apologies, announcements. There's little children showing up. The past. Being protected. Sentimental feelings. This is a... People come back around as well. And this is a forgiveness card. Okay? Whatever's taking place in the past... We see ten cups in the outcome. All right, let me take um, a different deck. Just give me further additional energy here, Divine, on what you suggest to get us to the ten of cups with the brand new studious opportunity to put in the ground for forgiveness and for protection about the past and this coming back around to be grounded what what further other information can you correspond with what's up here with all this work situations and what we can do what do you suggest we can do to to get it moving along for all positivity what's some information please divine so more pentacles up uh, the seven of pentacles well keep Allowing the seeds that we put in the ground to be checked upon continually. Wait 
continue to wait. I'm hearing in my spirit, the, they the, who wait upon me shall not be ashamed. They shall not be ashamed if you wait upon me. In all uprightness and truth, it comes by truth. This is a seven, okay? And uh, this person knows that there's things on that tree. There's a ladder here. There's protection. That goes back to the Chet, which is still the eighth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, but that's help from outside things when we wait. Uh, everything will be provided. Okay, we, we have forgiveness and energies like that. It's really good energy. Yes, it's it's the pentacle. And things that need to happen between people, and uh, we've got somebody expressing themselves here. I threw you out. I did this to you. I know this is a judgment now. I'm in my head about it. Okay, we need to go really slow because there's some things that uh, I feel you did to me too or you did that or whatever. Or one person is just completely squeaky clean the other person. So how it's going to work differently for any given person in any given situation. But we see somebody expressing something here. Yes, there's in, um, security. But like I said, the divine said that he, he will, first of all, he's going to wipe the tears away, okay? Those who wait upon him is not going to be ashamed. This is about insecurity, but it's also in the upright. It's about show, somebody's showing courage to come forth to express something that was real hurtful being left out in the cold. We have eight pentacles. Well, this is a five of pentacles, <laughs> With three pentacles, collaboration out here for the breakdown too. But this huge one pentacle though within this five of pentacles is just popping out. It's like when you do that, this collaborating, this talking, this saying what needs to be said in truth because you're waiting in a real physical way about something that took place here and was worked on. When you go... And stand up and realize that the divine is going to take the extra pentacles and make work out of it. This studious energy is going to make something really huge, over the top overflow for you, emotionally. There's forgiveness here in this nostalgia that's come out. Okay, whatever the slippery stuff was that's got somebody up in the head where these secrets were, the divine's still showing grace here. Five is a change. Five is grace. Three is expansion. So we get the death card, okay? A transformation for further information about what's going on up here. Well, we already know that there was death here. But we are seeing, again, this is going to put an end to something that was real hard. When somebody comes forward, it's going to literally never be the same again after that. Okay, it's going to transform and uh, literally liberate something here. That's money and property. We're seeing right here what took place. And something did transform and die or come from some kind of a death situation. Loans, taxes, um, some type of deep past past life. Something that in the psychology, somebody's mind was going off unknowingly, secretly, uh, just by way of the spirit. Something deep uh, was holding somebody there with a magnet. That's magnet energy. Uh, whatever this has been, the divine showing here already the decision to raise something you just need got to get out of your head got to get out of prejudiced energy here okay yes yes and there's another yes here this positive this is a positive change from things that are fixed okay there have been things that have literally been like war well death comes by war you're gonna kill yourself you stay in this worry state as well it's time to face this and to collaborate and transform something so the sun can come out and shine again we were told oh, okay look at this in this deck we get the judgment again that's positive that something's positive listen I want to read something to you all there's the hermit and that's wisdom over the snake in the basket okay the snake is down here down on the ground and he's more wiser than that snake he is a healer he is a guru he is a physician there's healing there's knowledge okay and then there's the magician and both this hermit and magician are basically the same 
situation or the same energy with the same situation going on showing to us this high volume wisdom here and a judgment and something literally coming to the surface for a real big evaluation i want to read something real quick okay i paused my camera for quite some time so i don't remember what i was actually saying i was looking something up that i read today and i really couldn't find it so uh but we are being shown something that I did read today. Like I said, I couldn't find. Basically, like I just said, we're being shown something being completely transformed when you go and do the correct thing. You pass from death to life, okay? Things front stage being known, being blown completely up for a second evaluation, for a complete A complete transformation like you've never known before like you've never known before we got the healer energy here I think that that's the uh, so the Queen of Cups is underneath that we've got a uh, healer energy twice here high volume wisdom the Sun is the most positive card of the deck and it's it's sitting by transformation Something is just like transformed because of something being right up in your face. Is literally we got the judgment card twice. Duplicates. People just in their own head. They need a physician. Well, the divine says, here you go. The energy is here. You have all that you need. High volume wisdom. Okay. You know, the Queen of Cups is underneath that. She represents a nurse as well. A mother, a sister, an aunt, a grandparent. A feminine somebody who's intuitive real gentle okay transformative energy to bring happiness from something that was dark and dead it's like it is like night and day this is the darkest house right but something's literally being blown up to, to be seen here in a big big way with this judgment out here twice there's a brand new foundation something to be worked some uh, something coming back around something alive that's a little baby this is a child this is a teenager something positive to start over it's a message of hope it's somebody who's studious and good with their hands and we get the ten of cups with it and that's also a social situation that is overwhelming joy forgiveness is here forgiveness is here look the divine said that there's truth here there's comfort he says to speak comfortably is what he's telling us. Okay, and this is exactly expressing, transforming something, not being afraid to express what's taken place. Because there's been a bad iniquity. Okay, you've been crying, having warfare. It's accomplished, the divine says. The, the, whatever the iniquity has been, it's been pardoned, the divine says. Okay, there's been double dished out. Double. We got double judgment here. Double, the divine says. For all types of sin. It's been in the head. It's over. Prepare the way, the divine is really just saying, look, I'm coming through. I'm going to make a highway just like that. Just like that to make you pass through something. From one space to the next. Where you didn't even think it was possible. Because it was just so. That's how transformative. Something is being shown to us. To become. To be, to be created out of nothing at all. To, to really. Have confidence. In the one that created you and I, that could change them just like that. Like the sun is there, being literally being shown. Let there be light. It's taking the sting of, of uh, death away. This positive, what's coming out here. We have to do our part, though, with it. And it's very physical stuff coming out here. The word of the divine is going to stand forever and ever and ever and continue and continue. We have to stand and get our minds straight. Get out of this eight of swords here.
the truth is set. Somebody's been pardoned. The divine says the iniquity is pardoned. It's pardoned. Begin to speak comfortably. It's pardoned. Something's already been dished out twice doubly. But it's showing it's over. It's completely transformed. Everything is brought the sunlight. It's, ha it's happiness. It's, it's forgiveness. It's, it's Talk about a change of position here. Whatever this secret investigative darkness was, somebody's like finally come awake to something. They're not, they can see. They can see. The divine says this because when it's over and things have been paid and worked and done correctly, and you waited, and they who wait upon the Most High will not be ashamed, and you do what He says. Okay, now while you wait, I want you to also face this insecurity and transform a thing and I'll bring this out the sunlight. It's a bright future. It's a bright future. It's a bright future. It's over. The iniquity is pardoned already. But the divine said, you have to do your part. Because like said, it's, it's showing up in the real physical down here in this 3D realm. Okay, but it's very spiritual because we're getting high arcana here. Heavenly stuff. Okay, this what's coming out. <laughs> I'm just listening. Uh, we're we're going to see some type of huge glory, the divine said. That's going to be revealed. And it's going to it's gonna hit all flesh. Every, every, it, it, look, we got a lot of... The whole earth is being affected. Okay? Something huge is going to take place. It's fixing to really take place. It, it's It's huge. You've been feeling it. There's been a lot of emotions. There's been a lot of things that have been uh, transformative. <laughs> Shows it right there. More than one time. It's going to happen again. Because there's been a double judgment, but it's over. We've got the courthouse here. Somebody's pardoned. Here's your flowers. You've been pardoned. You went through double. Okay, so we've been sitting there for a long time in nostalgia about children in the past. And the divine says, I want to give you all of this. I'm going to even give you a baby back. Okay? Because the divine says, if I created you, I could I could raise you. What's your problem? The truth is like right in your face. Do you believe? Do you trust? Don't you know? Haven't you heard? You're not you're not weak. You're not poor. You're you're strong. You're rich. What do you believe? Are you dead? Do you have understanding? Well, if you can get up and face your insecurity, the divine says, if you get out of your head and go slow with this thing, I'll give you the Ten of Cups back and I'll give your baby back as well. I will raise the dead. It's showing it. Some things wouldn't go forward the way that things should have or you thought it should have for a reason because there was judgment. There was karmic stuff in its way. There were blockages here. Okay? Okay. It, it had to be, it had, th this this debt's already been paid. This this earth stuff that's happened down here. There's something bright on its way. A, 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 a huge government, large social way up in your face. It's over. It's over. You've been pardoned. Said so he's going to hold your right hand. And he said to remind the people and myself because I'm speaking to the choir he's saying to, don't fear he said I'm going to help you I'm going to help you I'm going to help you whatever that means for you he's a redeemer he's wisdom he's wise Stop being scattered in your mind. Get grounded. The divine says, I'm going to open rivers in really high places that are just going to give a drink. The Ten of Cups showing itself here. Foundations in the midst of the valleys that have been really low. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to lift you up. He's going to make the wilderness like a pool of water. That water is going to now be refreshing. 
Okay, you don't have to be afraid of it anymore because there's a redemption here being shown to us by this pool of water that he's speaking through me in this w wild wilderness place that's really been wild for a lot of people, okay? Been war and death and stuff and all that kind of stuff is being shown out here. And the divine is planting beautiful things even in wilderness places and, and, and defragmenting the fragmented that's here with this eight of swords. I pardoned you to get out of jail free for for something spiritual that took place at, at a deep level. Look, the divine had told us that somebody was on the verge of losing and being destroyed, being destroyed at their soul. There's three levels, I believe. And they were at the point of being destroyed. They went through the, the stealing stage, however that played out for them. And then the killing stage. And then the divine is, you know, showing forth that somebody's now at the stage that they've gone so far, they're at the place of destruction. And that's really deep sin, dark stuff, esoteric. You don't talk about this as so the sewage stuff from the past, that kind of stuff. And no wonder there's insecurity here. But the divine says, I'm planting something even in those wild wilderness places where the wild was. And I'm giving something back that you didn't even think it was possible. We see a happy home. And we see the children laughing again and dancing down here because he's, he's able to raise the dead. So this person that I keep picking up on because I know that you guys have watched me on my channel the last couple days and, and the grieving that I've had to work through myself and the divine gave me words today that to raise the dead he's still the same his word still stands today why wouldn't it and so this person that had gotten into a situation with this baby this, this child that's wrapped up in some kind of a rug. It came out on those element readings. And they've been keeping it in a chest. The device says, I'm going to raise that baby up. This person's been grieving so deep. That's, uh, that's a state of destruction. And it literally made them just go cuckoo in their brain. And the divine's going to restore that person. Even, even, even all those fragmented places. Even all the fragmented places. That person's mind. Well, the divine is going to bring this baby back to you. And you're going to be, you're going to be completely. He's not just going to restore this. And say here you go. And say okay well it's going to lock you up. No the divine says I'm going to do such a work. That, that it, it, you have no idea what the sun really means here. For you. There's consequences. Yes. But that we're, we're entering into something beyond us in this physical realm will there be people that go to jail well that's the divine puts a judgment on whatever timeline people are finding themselves in this is a specific word that the divine's giving to somebody to pardon his people because there's been all kinds of stuff all over the land in secret and where it's been known okay so it's like an oxymoron type of energy but whatever it is because all things do work together and they're all working at the same time and in different time and out of time in time out and out of time and, and all the eternity stuff <laughs> there's something huge here and the device is not to be afraid and to approach and whatever the bully type stuff has been going on okay the divine says you know it's some stand up it gets that stuff it, that it's over there's already been a judgment there's been double judgment it's over there's transformative stuff coming for you in a big, big positive way once this communication has taken place somebody's been waiting for a long time to uh, communicate and has waited and has almost given up and uh, at the same time they they know they know it's going to transform everything you don't have to be insecure the the the, the, the chains are broken the truth is going to bring out the, the sun and it's going to liberate your pardoned. There's a positive message. There's a new job. There's a new contract. There's new studies. There's happiness. 
And the divine says, I'm fixing to show the world something they ain't ever seen in their lifetime. They've just read about it. Because the divine says, I will stand forever. My word will not go void. Because he's the one who speaks over the void and says, let there be light. This double judgment is transformed now. It's been paid in full. Already have been paid in full. A lot of people coming awake to that. Okay? There's no more fight. There's been a defeat on the enemy. Shalom.